And in 2004, in Bell, a shy young woman enchanted everyone on the stage of the Royal Albert Hall, performing alongside Rod Stewart. But the question always lingers, were they lovers, or was she his lost daughter? How is she living currently, alone or with a group? Does she still hold resentment towards what she feeds on? How does she present herself on YouTube today, reporter? I've always wanted to speak up. Hey, I'm Ivam. It's great to see you here. According to legend, Rod Stewart was strolling through the streets of Glasgow in Scotland, his hair flowing, and impeccably dressed in his modest suit. He heard a captivating voice carried by the wind. He followed the sound and found a sweet, young maiden playing and singing for coins left by passers-by. Though it's a legend, the true story is just as fascinating. An eight-second notice, and we'll continue. At the end of the video, I'll need your help to create another video for the channel. It will be about a student who went from being anonymous to performing at the greatest rock show of all time. But before that, let's get to the point. There was a rumor that the young woman who charmed everyone on the streets and later on the stage was full of hate. This rumor spread across international internet channels and reached Brazil. However, the truth is that she was discovered by a radio friend while singing on the streets of Glasgow, precisely at a subway exit. This friend introduced her to Rod Stewart, and within just five days, they were working together. Soon, an invitation came for her to join him on stage and perform, I don't want to talk about it. The show took place at the luxurious Royal Albert Hall in London, as part of a charity event organized by the Prince's Trust Organization, which helps young people between 11 and 30 years old in the UK to find professional and social reintegration. The show happened on October 13, 2004, and was broadcasted by the BBC across the UK on the 23rd of the same month. Amy Bell, also known as Emmy Bell, was 23 years old at the time and began working at Rod Stewart's record label. Executives compared her voice to that of Canadian singer Joni Mitchell, which caused some discontent within the label and eventually led her to leave on her own terms. However, this wasn't her first appearance. Since her teenage years, she sang on the streets of Glasgow, playing songs from bands like Nirvana and Alanis Morissette. At 17, she moved to London to pursue her music career. In 2001, she joined a band called De Hellacy with Audrey and Card Hare. They recorded a song called Instant Karma, and in 2002, they released a full album along with five different versions of the previous year's song. The band disbanded, and since then, she returned to Glasgow, where the radio friend discovered her. She has gone through various phases, including collaborations in recordings and composing songs for other artists, like Miley Cyrus. Today, Amy Bell is 40 years old and married to a government-employed lawyer. She occasionally sings her own songs and, of course, the song that made her internationally famous. However, her reach isn't as extensive as when she performed alongside Rod Stewart. Regarding your request for help with the upcoming video related to Live Aid and the inspiration behind We Are The World, I'm conducting in-depth research to create the video. I'm also exploring the story of a young man who, after completing his studies, performed for the first time in front of legendary artists at the biggest rock show of all time. Thank you for being here, and please leave your suggestions and stories related to artists who appeared and disappeared, much like Amy Bell, in the comments. Let's continue this journey together on the channel.